Bordemona are a climate solutions company who are involved in renewable energy projects and peatland restoration projects across its land bank. Bordemona currently possess over 80,000 hectares of peatlands across Ireland. The Peatland Climate Action Scheme hopes to rehabilitate over 30,000 hectares over a five year span. This will help store carbon in the peatlands, helping the climate change going forward and help achieve a carbon zero future. We're currently sharing data sets with external consultants via RTS Online. This saves us time having to set up sites and transfer up big data sets, so it's instant uh, sharing of data sets. Currently we have 90 users using the RTS Online system. This comprises of engineers, ecologists, operations staff and senior management. As we move forward, more renewable energy projects will be coming on stream and GIS will, will help those applications. Borden and Mona have a contract with National Parks and Wildlife Service to provide professional services to assist them in the delivery of the Raised Bog Restoration Programme. GIS team allows us to collate the data into a geo database. The benefits for us are we find we spend less time in the office having to process the data, which allows us to spend more time in the field. It also allows us to monitor and report on the works as they're progressing, so we can keep on track of the works as they're ongoing and report to the client on progress. I think my favourite aspect about the GIS applications has to be the fact that it's made the data so accessible for the whole team. We use a few different elements to make the data as accessible as possible. The first element would be the project data viewer. This was developed using Esri's web mapping application and it essentially is a web map which contains all of the project data for all of the sites. Bordemona are using drone imagery for a few different applications within the project. First application is for capturing a pre-restoration image of the site. After restoration works have been carried out, we then carry out a post-restoration flight. So this captures the site after works have been carried out and we use this to verify the works that were completed on site and we also use it to generate the as -build information. Personally, I find it really intuitive as a, as a software. While you're out, out on site, you can add a feature and instantaneously it's, it's available online for other people to view, other people to action. You know, it's all happening in real time. We tend to use it for preventative maintenance surveys on railways, uh, level crossings and bridges. So for communicating the defects and prioritising them, it makes it really, really efficient. The Peatlands Climate Action Scheme it's a scheme to rehabilitate 33,000 hectares of Borden and Mona bogs. And this is done through the installation of drain blocks, so blocking the drains that would have been put in to facilitate peat production, levelling the topography of the bogs, so removing the cambers that were there to facilitate drainage in the past, and creating low berms. Part of the rehabilitation, we're now blocking these drains in a way that we want to get the water level brought back up to within 10 centimetres of the surface ultimately by restoring that water table uh, in time on deeper residual peat, we'll be hoping to reverse that from uh, a carbon source to a carbon sink through carbon sequestration. We hope to use GIS going forward to maintain the habitat mapping for the company and to oversee our, our land bank.